shit. It's a thousand. Right? Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Spin that shit. Should you come? Spin the check and get it right back. What's going on, guys? This your boy Easy TV. I know you guys. Some of you guys, a lot of you guys have wondered how I got my audio to sound professional, how it is now. Um, I've actually had a lot of people over the time that I've been streaming and my, making content ask me easy. How do you get your voice to sound like this? I am one of those people that looked around all on YouTube, OBS settings to get your voice sound like this, how to get it to sound like that. None of that actually worked for me. So I kind of did my own thing. I am an audio engineer. So I kind of did my own thing and I want to show you guys the method that I did to get my audio to sound like this. So I won't say, hey, this is the best settings ever to get your voice to sound like this. I will say these are professional settings. So if you want your sound to sound like this and if you want to do more with your audio, which I will show down the line uh, in the video on how to get like, you know, spice your audio up and to bring your channel out more and to do little wacky stuff with your voice. I will show that. A uh, small disclaimer, I am using a MXL 990 microphone, which is a XLR cable microphone, and I am also using a M audio interface. You guys do not need this. You guys can use a snowball mic, a Turtle Beach USB mic. You guys can, a lot of you guys don't have XLR mics. You can use a, um, a, a USB mic. It does not matter what kind of mic. It also, it just matters about how you EQ your vocals to get to the sound that you need all right um i just want to show you guys the way that i'm doing it i will also explain how you can do this uh without the way that i'm doing it but without further ado let me get into the video all right so first things first you want to actually go to this website which i will have that link in the description it's the vb audio software you want to have this um you want to actually have this um this program, what you would do is you would go to virtual cape, the virtual audio cable. You would download it no matter if it's, you know, whatever your system is, it could be a 64 bit, 32 bit. You would download this. You would install it. You need this. This is your bread and butter. Without this, you would not be able to do what I'm about to show you guys uh, how what you can do with the audio programs. All right. So you would need this. This is the first step. Now, for the people that cannot get an audio program and what I mean by that is I use Mixcraft, so if you can't get Mixcraft, Pro Tools, Reaper, Audacity, you should be able to get Audacity because I believe that's a free program. Um, if you can't get any of those, the thing, the two, you have two options, all right? You got one, you can use the voice meter, which is okay. Uh, you have your mix down, your stereo, you got compressors, you got all this different stuff, your leveling, your EQ, uh, everything at your hands. You can solo, you can mute, you can do this, or what I would recommend is the banana voice meter the banana voice meter is better in my opinion it has way more eq and way more channeling uh you can solo mono eq mute you can do a lot more with this so if you can't get any of those programs or music programs that i'm talking about um you won't be able to get what i am doing but you'll be able to still get the clarity the clarity has nothing to do with the program it's all about your eq and so you can eq the clarity that i have with this thing right here all right so the first thing that i use like i said guys i use a program called mixcraft uh what you can do the the official website is not up anymore but if you google mixcraft 8 you can purchase them through different websites or you can go to the websites that, that let you download them for free what i would recommend is if you would go to the piratebay.org or go like google in the pirate bay go to the crack website and you can download the crack version. I will not put that link in the description because I don't know if I can get flagged for that. But you will go to the Pirate Bay, Google the Pirate Bay, and then you will put in Mixcraft, uh, Mixcraft 8, and it will show you guys, um, you know, the links you can download. Make sure it has good seating on it. Uh, download it. Make sure you follow the instructions, and then you should be fine. All right. So pulling up the program. This is the program that I use. A lot of people only use the EQ things. I like using this because simple fact that you can do way more with this and these programs, the audio programs, than you can just do with a regular EQ for the guys that's like, oh, man, he doing something that's totally different from what I've seen in the EQ. 
same difference. You see these EQs down here from this one, all this right here to this one is the same exact thing. Solo, mute, arm, everything. It's the same exact thing. So it's nothing different. All right. So what I do is uh, with this program, first things first, you will go to file and then you will go to preferences. Once you pull up preferences, it's going to ask you It's going to show you your recording while well, your recording tab. So your recording is what pro like what equipment are you using? So you will go find your um, microphone that you're using and then the output will be um, the cable, the virtual cable audio. So I'm going to show you guys that right now. All right. All right, so as you guys can see, I, it got quiet right there because for some reason when I open up that tab, it cuts my microphone off. But as you guys can see, you go to that file, you was pick whatever microphone for mine, it was line two, which is the M audio interface. And then right after that, the output would be um, uh, the virtual cable, all right? So you will connect this to OBS. So if you're using OBS or something like that, what you would do is you would go to OBS, you will go make a scene and then right after that, as you guys see a professional sound, you you will right click, you will go to add and you will go to add input capture, audio input capture. Once you go to audio input capture, you can name it to where you want to. As you guys can see, you will go to cable input and it will be VB audio virtual cable. If it's not the input one and you don't see this, it will be the output one guaranteed. All right. So. That's how you get them to link the two programs to link. So as you guys can see, you see the audio is linking. It's also linking at the same time with this program. So while I'm talking, it's picking up from this program and it's coming over here. So you would need that virtual cable to actually link these two programs together to get the sound that I am talking about. All right. So back to the program that I'm talking about. All right. So we are back at Mixcraft and you guys like, OK, how did you get yours to sound like this? All right. So first things first, you can go to the FX tab when you hit FX. I'm going to break down what these do to my vocals, what they could do to your vocals. Um, so, yeah, so the TB gate is nothing but a threshold. These plugins come with this program. You do not have to download anything extra. They actually come with this program. I'm pretty sure you can use like Fruity Loops and Pro Tools and all that stuff. You can that stuff comes with stuff that you can automatically have in that program and you can use that stuff uh, how I'm using it in this program. All right. So I'm using the TB gate. The TB gate is a threshold. I will go to edit. and I'm just showing you guys the threshold right here. So if you guys notice threshold, uh, what I want to give a th definition of threshold is uh, it's a gate to where you put on your voice or anything, um, a certain gate to where. If you have the threshold all the way up, like infinity, that means you have no threshold. It's just like any type of sound, any type of noise popping, any type of squeak, baby cry, cell phone that go off, anything like that can be can, can be contaminated in the audio. So what you would do with the threshold is if you don't want to hear like I can run my fans, I can run music in the background and everything like that. And you guys would never hear it because I have a certain threshold on my uh on my program to where only when i speak or something is a loud enough value that it picks up so you guys notice once i stop talking everything goes quiet but the crazy thing is while i'm making this video there's a lawn more lawn mowing company outside right now lawn like doing lawns and it's loud as hell and you guys cannot hear it so you will want to find that sweet spot with the threshold to where after you stop talking, it cuts off and then you don't want it down too much to where it's cutting off your vocals. You understand what I'm saying? So if it, if you get it down, if you bring the threshold down too low, it will actually cut off words and cut off your vocals and it wouldn't pick it up. So you want to find that sweet spot for that. All right. So then the acoustic EQ. So the acoustic EQ, it says basic high boost. The, the only thing that is, is adding more treble to my vocals. It's adding more clarity. That's all it is, because if you if you take away treble um, in a sense, you be ha you you become your voice becomes muddy. 
you get that muddy type sound and it it just sound muffled sound like you know you got your hand over your mouth and you don't want that sound you want yours to be clear you want it to be bassy you want it to sound professional all right the compressor that i'm using is called a bass guitar compressor now just i want to just give you guys a quick understanding for the people who don't know what compressing is just think about this you have a real large video file or file on your computer and you want to put it into a zip file what the zip file does is it takes that large file and it crunches it down in size to fit in that zip file to be able to you know uh send it to somebody else through an email the same sense the same instance go for vocals when you put a compressor on your vocals you're putting a mask on your vocals you're putting uh um a type of crunch on your vocals to where it sits. It's not like if I scream real loud, it'll only hit a certain peak and it won't go above that level. And if I'm talking low, it'll bring my vocals up and it will stay in between that level. So it would not peak. So as you guys can see in this, like while I'm talking, my, vo my voice is actually hitting from green to yellow. It's not even touching nowhere near orange or red, unless I like do something loud. Even when I did that loud and that's very loud in my room, it still didn't go past that threshold. All right. So with the CD master, uh, the classic master limiter, which is the CD master, which is like I said, is an audio program. This only brings my vo my vocals up to where it has more loudness to it. So if I turn it off while I'm talking, you guys can see it loses its value in, in uh, audio. But once I cut it back on, then it gets louder. That's exactly what that does. So for the people who do have programs like this, this will work 100% for you. You will just find out that spot that you need to, you know, mess around with stuff. That'd be cool. Now for my people who do not have programs, all right, I'm gonna show you guys the same thing from what this program is, all right? So we're going to go into the mixer and this is the, this is the mix rack right here. So right now you have your EQ, your high EQ, which is treble. And I'm going to break it down so you guys can understand, because I know a lot of videos are they are misleading and they do not put you guys where you need to understand exactly what you're touching and what's going on. All right. So let's say if your voice is muddy, right, you would add you would add more to the right to bring out clarity. So like right now, I'm going to show you guys I want that muddy sound if it sounds all muddy and nasty. Once I bring my EQ back to the left, I will begin to have that muddy sound. As you guys can hear, it sounds real muddy. It sounds nasty. It sounds like you're on an AM radio. It doesn't sound right. It's just not clear. But once I bring that back up, you guys will start seeing the clarity comes back. You really don't need to mess with the mids. You can mess with the mids. But what mids does, it's it brings a up. It brings a upfront feel for your vocals. So it's almost kind of like a in your face type of uh, feel with the vocals. Now with the lows, that is your bass. So if you have a real bassy voice, you would cut back to the left to take bass out. Or if you don't have a bassy voice like me, you would add bass to it, all right? So this is what happens. You take the bass while I'm talking, as you guys can see, the more I talk and I'm cutting back to the left, it's taken away and it almost sounds like an intercom, correct? But then when I go back, I can add more bass to it. I can add my bass back and I get that bassy type sound. All right. So that's how you would do that for for that. Now, I'm going to show you guys what happens. This is exactly what happens. Once I take these plugins off, once I take these 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 plugins off, you guys are going to see how my mic really sounds just by itself. And you guys are like, man, how people get their mics out? This is what they do. All right. So now I don't have any of that. And you guys see my voice. It's just like a regular mic. It got the little EQ on it in the in the in the lows on it still. But it's nothing too major. But once I add everything back, it sounds better. Now, this is where you want your break. Like this is where your creativity kicks in. And this is why I like these type of programs. So what you would do is. With these programs, depending on what you have, you can add different stuff. So let's add a delay to my vo vocals. And as you guys, as can, you guys see, can see, every time I talk, it's a delay it's behind, a delay it. behind it's it. It's like, like different, like, different wacky, wacky, stuff wacky stuff that you can do. Okay, okay, yeah, we got a delay. Yeah, let's put something else on here. Let's go with a that 
that plug in. Plug you know, in. now you it know, sounds now like that. You see what I'm saying? Like you can do a lot, a lot of stuff. And what happens is with this stuff that you can also stream like this and make content like this at the same time, so people can be able to hear this stuff live. All right, let's go with a flanger. You guys hear the flanger is different stuff that you can do um, with this stuff, and I'm just happy I can show you guys. So if this help any of you guys, then hey, by any means, I'm proud that I can help you. All right, and then we got reverb right here. So if you want to add some type of reverb, uh, foggy, we got gymnasium. You can hear that. You can hear different stuff, and this can actually be heard live while you're streaming or making content. All right. So we're going to take those away. So that's what I would use. So this if if you guys don't have these programs, I advise you guys to try to get one of these programs and use it to the best of your ability. This is what I use. I will not say these are the best settings, but I will say these are my professional settings or what I like to use. Uh, I will prefer that you do this because if you're a content creator or you stream, you can do a lot of wacky stuff. You can have auto tune on here. You can do a lot of different stuff with these programs. Like I said, I will have that link in the description for the um, the virtual cable uh, for the people who want a more in-depth video on how to make um, to basically EQ or bring that 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 real crisp sound to your vocals like in depth, please just leave a comment and be like, hey, easy. I need to see that video because I can basically target you guys voice specifically on, on how to EQ it. I can go through all the different ranges of different type of voices to get that that sound. So if you guys do have trouble with this video, make sure y'all just leave a comment and be like, hey, I want you to do a more in depth of the EQ and then compressing. And I will do that for you guys with no problems. But I hope this guy, this, you know, this helps you guys out. I usually don't do stuff like this for the people who are new to my channel, man. Please subscribe to the channel. Also hit the notification button. Make sure y'all leave a thumbs up and I'm out.